Hey guys, my name's Glenn Holmes. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I've taught thousands of coaches worldwide how to teach boxing fitness, thousands of people boxing fitness through group classes and private training. On this channel, you're gonna get everything boxing fitness, coaching, mitt work, boxing combination breakdowns, everything you need to make your boxing fitness and your boxing training even better. All right, so on this video today, I'm gonna to talk about three common mistakes that we see with defense, right? When you're trying to defend punches, three things that we see quite often that could be better. So number one, when you parry in the jab, right? So the standard defense of the jab, if I throw my jab, she's gonna parry it with the back hand, the right hand, right? She's gonna catch that jab in the, in the glove and try and deflect it, right? Now the common mistake we see with this is the glove coming away from the head and the, trying to meet the punch too early. The way this should be is she should let the jab travel and catch it right in front of the face. Boom, right there, boom. The reason why she should let it travel and catch it in front of the face is because the glove should never come away from the head like this. It should be in this zone all the time. If she brings that glove too far out, I can easily get around she creating gaps, right? So it just takes a quick feint and then I can land power punches from there. So the glove should be by the head. So the common mistake we see with this, as soon as she sees a glove go, is coming all the way out to meet that jab. Boom, there, it's too far out, right? We don't wanna see anything big. With defense in boxing, Less is more, that's the key. You always want small, intricate, simple movements. That's the key to good defense. It's relying on the reflexes. So let the jab travel, be comfortable getting, allowing it to come close to the head and just meet it at the last minute. The key is just to concentrate. Boom, there, boom, boom, boom. And then having a tight fist and just trying to deflect that jab a little bit. There, boom. So a common mistake number one, when parrying the jab, the glove coming too far away from the head. All right, let's take a second defensive move. So we're working on head movement now. If she was to slip the jab, same concept right here. She only needs to go the width of the glove. If I'm slipping that punch, I only need to go here. I don't need to go super big. And that's something we see quite a lot, is way too much movement, way too much energy exerted, and it's just not an efficient movement pattern. I'll show you in a second why it's not efficient. If she slips this, you should be slipping it a few inches, do a good slip. Boom, there, just let that jab slide over the shoulder, right? If she goes too big, boom. Now look at that body position, right? She's not in a position from there to throw anything, really. She's too far loaded up on the back foot, the upper body's out of sync. That is not a good position to throw a counter punch. Now the key to good defense is you not only defending the punch and avoiding getting hit, obviously, but you wanna be in a good position to counter punch. That's the key to good defense. And if she just slips slightly, six to eight inches, small movement, boom, straight away, she's loaded up, she's on balance. She's in a great position to throw absolutely anything. And she's in a great position to move her feet, to throw a punch herself. She can do anything from there. And that's what we should be in every time we defend a punch. So anytime you're slipping punches, remember less is more. Six to eight inches, small movements, back here, here, right? It doesn't have to be super big and wide like this. You're gonna waste tons of energy and you're not gonna be in a good position to uh, land counter punches as well. All right guys, so before we get to number three, the third common mistake on defending the, the jab, I just wanna remind you, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification, that way you'll get notified when the new videos come out each week, all right? So, pay attention to that too. So the third one, probably the most important one and the, the, the most common that people tend to forget very easily is not anticipating the counter punch. So if I throw the jab, she, she parries the jab with the back glove and then she throws the counter punch, I defend that. It's a lot of people think, oh, I've defended the punch, I've countered, job's done, right? And they kind of switch off for that split second. So not anticipating the counter punch and not anticipating doubling up or a second punch coming in is also a common mistake. Especially with novices and beginners, people starting to get used to defense, start thinking about two punches, three punches, more punches coming, the job's not done after one jab. So for example, if she catches the jab and then she just kind of relaxes for a second, doesn't anticipate the second jab, guess what? The second jab's gonna get through. So boom, boom, right? It's gonna catch her off guard. And then I can start throwing like a lazy jab, lazy jab, bang, and then throw the second one with a bit more force because I've seen that they kind of switch off after they feel like they've got that confidence from parrying that first jab. Now, if she gets the confidence from parrying the jab and decides to throw a counter, boom, boom, right? Then I can let that happen a couple of times as well. So I'll let that happen, build that confidence up for her because I know she's not anticipating my counter of the counter, if that makes sense. So throw the jab, she counters with the jab, and let that happen a couple of times, boom, boom, right? Boom, boom. Now this time I'm like, okay, I can see that they're switching off, they're comfortable throwing that counter, so I'm just gonna counter the counter this time. And nine times out of 10, if that's the way it's going, with people that kind of switch off after that defense and get proud of the defense, then you'll land that counter counter. So boom, boom, bam, there. 
kind of reel them into that. Again, bam, there, go. All right, so just switching off after you've defended, never switch off. Just because you've parried a jab doesn't mean you can be comfortable, or just because you've slipped one punch, you can't then think, oh, I slipped, great, start celebrating, take a picture, do all that stuff. No, that's just the start of it. You've slipped or parried, whatever it is, anything else can happen after that, so always switched on. So common mistake number three, not anticipating doubling up the punches, not anticipating the counter punches. Always switched on no matter what, all right? Thanks for watching this video. I hope that helps you out with your defense. Try it out. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, check out this video as well on the channel. Thanks for watching.